The scorecard for the 9th National Assembly lawmakers for Senate and the House of Representatives has been unveiled at the National Assembly complex. The comprehensive report aims to establish who is a good and effective legislator using the sponsoring and processing of bills and motions by legislators as an evaluation matrix. This is the third edition of an independence performance appraisal of the Ninth National Assembly as it lends an avenue for discussing the performance of the legislature and legislators and bills. In his welcome address, the executive director, O.K. Epia, highlighted the reasons behind the yearly publication. As said before now, focus had always been on the executive, but his organization has decided to shift attention to the legislature. What we have done this year is to, while we are focusing on the bees, because we have received feedback to say, okay, it is not about the bees or the number of the bees, but it's about what is the impact of those bees? What is the extent to which they impact the lives and living conditions of citizens? So we have been careful to use a metrics we call the VVIP to distill the data sets that you have before you shortly. In other words, we'll be looking at the bees respect to their volume, their value, their impact, and their progression. While commending the publications, federal lawmakers unanimously agreed that it will not serve as an agenda setting, but will bring them to their toes. Making laws is just one of the functions of the legislature. Keeping the union going is a duty, and that is done by motions. That is also done by oversight. Those are done by investigations. What are the discoveries of the assembly? What investigations have been carried through? And what actions have the executive taken after the fact of investigation? These are ways to follow up. Most of our constituents perhaps use a different parameter in assessing us. They use the stomach infrastructure. How much can you bring? How much can you dash? Meaning that if you have enough money to dash out and you come here, see if they do nothing, you are a good parliamentarian. Others believe that it is time to enlighten Nigerians that legislators should not be judged by the numbers of weddings and burials they attend, but on the number of motions, bills and contributions made at plenary or at public hearings. The barometer for measuring the performance of a legislature should be by the number of bills that he has sponsored and have seen the light of the day not by the number of weddings or burials that he attends in his village. It is also believed that the publication will help to hold lawmakers accountable to their constituents, knowing that their performance are being assessed. Glancing through uh, the invitation and the background that the executive director of other paper has provided already uh, clears uh, the doubt in my mind, and, and, and I believe it's same for the Nigerians that will receive this report. The institutionalization of this report, if widely circulated, will in no small measure motivate legislators to be responsive and accountable to the constituent and the Nigerian populace. <laughs>